Hey guys, this is Corey Bystead over at Bicious RV in Junction City, Oregon. I'm here to show you the Bighorn 39 MB. It's one of my favorite rigs. I sat every video, but I love all my products. Um, it's a mid bunk model. Now, one of the things I love about this brand is the front. So on the front, now that I got the bay door open, you can see right here we have a um, easy reel. That's super cool. Motorized, it just rolls up that cable. Um, and then you can access this bay right here uh, through the front. So you can get to the middle of the stuff. Below, this is where you could have a generator installed if you're going to do that. So it's separated. And then right here is where all your controls, you have a battery disconnect, you have some battery stuff, all your wires. That's where you access those things. Over here is your auto leveling system. Very nice. You also have a leveler on this panel. This one's hanging out because I think my shop is in the middle of fixing this. So, um, yeah, sometimes you gotta get stuff repaired. Here's your controller for all of your water stuff. If you wanna do tank fill, dry camping, city, um, you just hook up your hose here and select what you're trying to do. You got the slam lock latches on that brand. Very deep slide outs, I'll show you that in a minute. Here's the other side of that same bay. It's like the most storage I've ever seen in one of these, just because of the fact that you can access it from the front. Made them swoop over that direction and give you a lot more room that way too. I love it. And then right here, let's do this really quick. Got this little cargo box. Throw a purse there, lock it up, I don't know. Whatever you wanna do. Like I said, we have the leveling system, so there's your jacks. Um, you have your solid steps right here, the extended handle. The little thing I love about this extended handle is literally this one simple bar. We have a couple brands that do the same handle, but they don't do this bar. So when you lift up the handle, this part will come out of the groove, but that one won't. But when this one lifts up, it pushes the top one. So you can grab it from the base and swing your handle. The simplest idea that everyone should be doing that not a lot of people are. But it's nice if you're, you know, if you really need this. Look, I can get to the handle on my first step. So being that this is a four step, la uh, uh, is this a ladder? Stair? S movable stair? Solid step? I don't know. What's the proper word? Comment below. And then we got this right here. This is your control panel. You have lights, slide outs, awning stuff. Here's the bunk thing. The bunk thing. Anyways, so this couch is also a bed. You just pull it out. You have this little um, dresser set up right here. You can fit a TV right here. This is uh, backed with something you can drill screws into so you can support your TV without messing anything up. You have some storage right here as well. Very nice. So as you come over into here, um, first of all, I love the style of this brand. So if you like style, I mean, this is it. So the color palettes, the countertops, um, all the wood difference uh, all complement each other very well. All the browns. I just love, like, look at this brown wall back here. This brown wall in comparison with the whole rest of the whole rig, being that you have white walls, you have brighter driftwood looking colors, then you have this dark. It all just talks to each other so well um, stylistically. So here's obviously your living room. This is your bed. These ones just recline. You do have a little remote storage in here if, you, if you're gonna use that up. So you also have storage up here. Everywhere you can put counters and, or counters, anywhere you can put um, storage and cabinets, uh, you know, they did. You have all this pull out storage as well. Same as all above there too. Above here. 
oversized microwave. This is bigger than the one inside of my own house right now. <laughs> Maybe I should move into this thing. <laughs> we have, um, hey, that'd be perfect for me. I have kids. We have a three burner cooktop. And then this thing comes down to sort of maximize your counter space. Um, you know, protection too. Uh, you have your oven right here. This is probably the best sink I've ever seen. It's undermounted, meaning that the countertop is above it instead of um, it being on top of the counter. Um, it's black, which is very awesome. It's really big. It's the one, not split. And this thing comes with it. You just roll this out and you put your wet things, your pots or whatever right here, and they just drip into the sink. It's like a little drying rack. And then below, all the, the storage you need. All these as well. There's three of these. You have the solid surface countertops as well, which is super nice. You have this entire pantry set up, just full of cabinetry. I don't imagine you'd fill that up. Well, for camping. There's just a lot of space. This extension, it flips up so you can have a bigger table. It does come with more chairs. They're just stored right now because uh, this thing just showed up to us. Now, if you head upstairs, you do have this ladder. It swings out. It doesn't come out of the top. It just is stuck there. Um, so they can get up. And then this is what I love is right there. You can just see right into the living room right there. It's got curtains, so you can close it off, but I think that was really cool. It really takes claustrophobia away from being up in that little hole, little hidey hole. There's your bathroom, you got your toilet, your really big shower. I love it. You got your sliding door. Those are always nice. They don't inconvenience anyone's space going in and out, being that it's a tighter hallway than a house you got your uh, king bed you have solid surface countertops on the sides of your mattress I love that also this mattress is a little lower than usual it's nice because the number one thing people upgrade when they buy these almost everybody does it is they get a better mattress that's gonna fit with their own personal body usually they end up being a little bit thicker um, so that being said you can picture a thicker mattress it's about twice this tall and it would uh, it would be fine because this mattress is set very low right now um, even the counter the little counter thingies by your head are up a little higher because I think they're expecting you're gonna do that because everybody does it here's your dresser so you get two four six of those I have to count <laughs> you get um, your washer and dryer right here. Or if you want, it's just a closet being with that rod right there if you want to just use it for that. My voice cracked. <clears throat> and then, you know, I love the brown carpet, by the way. If you're going to do carpet, at least make it like dark and brown <laughs> for obvious reasons. Then you, these are uh, mirrors. And then you have this little thing right here good for shoes this little corner piece um, is by design it has to be there the point is is if they cut the corners out for the exterior you can be more tighter turn radius so um, you get more tighter turn radius and you lose this much closet it's worth it also it's better for short bed trucks if that's what you're using as well just makes it a little easier so you can almost completely 90 degree angle these things um, with the tight turn radius corner cuts and that'll be the last thing I'll show you actually let's go see that I neglected to point it out but it's right here they cut this at an angle so you can picture your truck is right here and you got your back of your cab in the back seat when you turn super tight it'll get very close to right here but because they cut your closet out just a little bit um, I'm willing to sacrifice a tiny bit of closet. It's such a tiny bit. 
uh, to gain better turning radius. You need to be able to get this thing where you're putting it. So, Also, I guess I'll point this out too. We got the Rotoflex hitch on it. I love this thing. Um, you get a rubber pad right here. So this is your fifth wheel is attached to this, which is attached to a rubber pad, which is attached to this piece right here that has a pivot location. And so as you start going uphill and downhill and stuff, the rubber pad will squish and this will pivot just a little bit to kind of try to take off some of the, um, the chucking that you feel on your truck. You just don't feel this behind your truck as much as a, a usual, um, like as much as like this one. Cause that's just a straight connection. This has that rubber pad bushing it, so. Yep, that's the big horn. We've got lights all around the front of it and stuff for safety and style. This really truly is the style rig. There's a couple of my brands that are this level of quality, but they cut corners on maybe the style to try to save on price. Um, this one is going to just do everything you can think of in terms of quality and style. It's just very beautiful and reliable. So if you have any more questions about it, I can take measurements or do whatever we need to do. Um, you can just give me a call, Corey Bystead. My phone number is 541-735-1535. Thank you.